budget airline EasyJet has announced a 28% fall in annual profits, saying the year has been challenging. The carrier's pre-tax earnings fell to $618 million, in line with what analysts were expecting. EasyJet says the falling British pound and air traffic control strikes have affected revenues, but it wasn't all bad news. Passenger numbers rose by 6% to 73 million. Well, for more on this, Fabrizio Poli joins us now live from Manchester. He's a managing partner at Tyrus Wings Aircraft Trading Company in the UK. Fabrizio, thank you very much for talking to us. So EasyJet's blaming the decline in the value of sterling combined with air traffic control strikes for its decline in profits. But the uncertainty over Brexit is going to continue for some time. So how did EasyJet turn this around? Well, I mean, I think um, uh, we look at the EasyJet figures. We need to look at the, their, their closest competitors' figures as well, which is Ryanair. And Ryanair's profits are only down 5%. So, um, yes, uh, EasyJet do fly to places like Egypt and Turkey, which have been hit by terrorist attacks. So, yes, they're going to obviously uh, be affected by the fact that they won't have that many passengers flying to those destinations. Well, Ryanair doesn't fly to those destinations. But um, Ryanair also has more crew bases all over, the, uh, all over Europe. And this uh, lowers the cost of their product um, and, and this is really really important so when you when you talk about low-cost airlines people always think oh cheap tickets no low-cost airlines are all about managing the cost of your product so how much do the pilots cost how much do the planes cost how much does the the, the the landing fees cost and what Ryanair have adopted over the years is a policy of flying to secondary airports and a lot of these secondary airports actually pay Ryanair to fly there and while EasyJet have always adopted the policy of going to the main airports. And so the problems with main airports is you get delays. Um, it, it, it costs more to operate from those airports, while Ryanair are actually operating at a lower cost. Um, and so that's why they're, they're only hit by 5% compared to what EasyJet has been hit for. By Yes, Brexit has had an effect. Um, the, the price of fuel has gone up, of course, so over the last few months. Uh, that's had an effect on the whole thing. I mean, I think Brexit uh, gradually has... As the UK move out of the EU, I think the, the economy here will, will, will stabilise a lot better um, and those problems will be solved. But I think that the main battle here and the main thing that EasyJet needs to be doing, like any airline in the world, and it's very difficult in the airline business to make any money. I mean, there's very, very few airlines in the history of the airlines that have ever made any money. And most airlines have lost money and gone bust. I mean, think of the TWAs of the world, the Pan Ams, and you know, these are airlines that no longer exist at once. Once upon a time, we're, we're like the, the number one airlines in the world. So you really have to manage the cost. So what can I do to save money on, on fuel? What can I do to save money on crew? What for can I do Fabrizio, to save what, does, money? what does all of this mean for passengers then? Well, I would say, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, the passenger, the, the, the holiday maker still wants to go on holiday. Um, the business people may be looking at it a bit different uh, because they don't want to risk their people, you know, going to places in the world where, where, you know, bombs go off and people die and terrorism, which unfortunately is on the increase and it's going to increase even more as we, as we go ahead in the next few years. And this is why we have seen here at Tyra Swings a surge in private jet travel. I mean, over the last 12 months, the private jet chartering has gone up 20 percent. Um, more and more people are looking at uh, buying their own aircraft, but that's obviously not for everybody. But if we talk about the, the, the everyday holiday maker and that, I mean, I'd say, yes, look, look carefully who you're going to be traveling with. Um, is that going to affect them? Um, maybe with pricing and that. Um, but, you know, today we've got the Internet, this beautiful technology where we can shop around and shop around and shop around and then make our decision and compare the different airlines to each other. Um, so I would say to anybody that's, that's watching, uh, shop around before you make your decision which airline you're going to use for your holidays. Uh, try and find a good, you know, good, good price and obviously fly with a reliable airline. Uh, you don't want to fly with some of these airlines that aren't reliable and, you know, risk you know, flying with, with a carrier that keeps going tech every five minutes and stuff like that. So um, I'd say do your research. OK, Fabrizio, research Fabrizio, unfortunately time has escaped us, but thank you very much for talking to us here on RTRT World on Money Talks.